Hey guys, welcome to 10 Minute English with May. And today we're looking at the second expository text for our SAT reading. Today's title is Salt Stretches in Nano World. So right away you should know salt usually doesn't stretch. So apparently this is probably going to talk about a new discovery. that changes our original belief. And here it explains the nano world is the world observed on a scale one billion that of ordinary human experience. So inflexible, right? That is our common conception of salt, right? Inflexible old salt becomes a softy in the nano world, stretching like taffy to more than twice its length. So do you see why it's using this analogy, stretching like taffy, to make it more um, visual or easy to understand? The findings that could end up in solar cells or electronic circuits. So do you see that could end up? This shows the potential of the discovery and also why important, why should we care? The work also suggests that these ultra tiny salt wires may already exist in sea spray and large underground, under, underground salt deposits. So right away we see two implications because also suggest. So probably unlike what we previously believed there is stretchable salt on earth as well. We just never found it. Okay, so why is it important? And it's actually more common than we thought. So of course we see this um, quotation we can cross out because it's simply a paraphrase. So that is the part where we can skim, right? If you see the last sentence of this paragraph, maybe they're more common than we think. It's pretty much the same thing as what we've established in line six to line eight. So metals, so do you see how we're going from salt to other metals? So I'm gonna write a shift because the topic is different. Metals like gold or lead in which bonding angles are loosey-goosey can stretch out at temperatures well below their melting points. The key comes after, but scientists don't expect this super plasticity in a rigid crystalline material like salt. So this paragraph is to contrast. And of course, surprise, this unusual behavior highlights that different forces rule that nano world says theoretical physicist, forget about gravity, it plays no role. Surface tension and electrostatic forces are much more important at this scale. So we can see the reason why this is an explanation. Why does nano world make salt behave so differently? It's the surface tension and electrostatic forces, not gravity. Moore and his colleagues discover salt stretchiness accidentally. Okay, so this is something you want to pay attention to. A lot of times, the scientists, they would come across a certain finding or study accidentally, meaning it deviates from their original objective. So, for example, there's a passage how they are talking about trying to find out the toughness of red algae, but accidentally finding out there's lignin in there. So their research ended up going in the direction of finding where lignin comes from, whether it's from red algae or green algae or both. And why is that important? Because it changes our whole concept or understanding of plant evolution. So same thing here, the word accidentally is important. They were, see, what, what were they doing in the beginning? Original plan. They were investigating how water sticks to a surface such as salt and created a super dry salt sample for testing. So something happens that leads to a secondary experiment. After cleaning a chunk of salt about the size of a sugar cube with a razor, scientists guided a microscope. So do you see how this is the original research? Research 
context. And since we know this is research context, this is organized in procedural, procedural text. So this is step-by-step -step action, right? When the tip was far away, there was no measure force, but within about seven nanometers, again, strong transition, a very strong attraction developed between the diamond tip of the microscope and the salt. It actually stretched. So this is their accidental finding. Using an electron microscope to see what was happening, they observed the nanowires. The initial attraction between the tip and salt might be due to, right, do you see the word? Might be due, that indicates tone. This is not 100% certainty. Might be due to electrostatic forces, perhaps good old van der Waals interactions. So this is simply a repetition of what they stated earlier. Might be due to um, electrostatic forces over here. All right. And of course, several mechanisms might lead. Again, the word might indicates not a hundred certainty. Uh, the ele elasticity, including the excessive surface tension found in the nano world. The surface tension is so strong that as the microscope pulls away from the salt, the salt stretches. And then we see the paraphrase, right? Simply talking about how strong that is. This bizarre behavior, again, right? Because this is different from the convention belief that salt is crystalline and it is very hard. So this bizarre behavior is actually mirrored in the macro world. So we have to say not just nano, but macro. And that is the second speculation, right? It is more common than we believe it to be. So what is the macro world? We can see it's probably the sea spray and the large underground salt deposits. Right, so huge underground deposits of salt can bend like plastic, but water is believed to play a role at these scales. Perhaps salty nanowires are present in these deposits as well. Sodium carbon, sodium carbon, sorry, sodium chloride is everywhere in the air in our bodies. This may change our view of things of what's happening at the nanoscale. So again, why is it significant? Why important? Because it changes our view completely. The work also suggests new techniques for making nanoware. So again, a repetition of the potential, what we can do with it, okay? So that is the basic organization. We start out by talking about a strange phenomenon, right? Then we talk about how this discovery is accidental, right? And then end up finding that, hey, this is actually more common than we thought, not just in the nano world, the surface tension and electro electricity or electro electric forces causing it to stretch, but actually in the macro world as well, okay? And that is the basic outline of this expository text. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.